So boring old Spain have squeezed into another final on penalties. Will it be Italy or Germany who they face on Sunday? A full preview coming up. After their Euros disaster, Dutch coach Van Marwijk gets the chop. Footballer singing is never a good idea and Lucas Podolski is the latest to try. Badly. We've got the best and worst tattoos on show at Euro 2012. And Kev Peck's tonight's semi-final winner. I'm Sean and this is today's Gold Line. Well, the only thing we'll remember about last night's match is the fact that Cristiano Ronaldo didn't take a penalty. All set to take Portugal's fifth in the shootout following a nil-nil draw with Spain, he watched as Bruno Alves hit the bar with their fourth. The Real Madrid star unable to do anything as Cesc Fabregas fired Spain into their third successive major tournament final. Spain is the best. Is the best. We don't play very well, but... We are in the final. The world champions have now won their last nine knockout games at major tournaments without conceding a single goal. Ominous signs indeed for whoever faces them on Sunday. Tonight's second semi-final sees Italy face Germany. Here's Mystic Greg with a word from Warsaw. Believe it or not, we are on a beach in the heart of Warsaw, just yards from the national stadium. Tomorrow this beach will be full of Germany and Italy fans sunbathing ahead of the huge semi-final clash between the sides. Italy midfielder Andrea Pirlo might as well have laid down a deck chair in the centre circle during their victory over England in the quarter-final and Italy will be looking to him to do the same thing against Germany. They have a huge boost in the possible return of Giorgio Cialini in defence but Pirlo is the man who's going to pull the strings. Germany have a painfully bad record against Italy in major tournaments, but crucially, they've had two extra days rest over Italy. Jogi Löw has so many options at his disposal. I think Lukas Podolski and Thomas Müller are both going to start, but there's a very good argument to play Royce and Schürrle once again. After a disastrous Euros in which they lost all three matches, Holland coach Bert van Marwijk has resigned. The Netherlands won nine of their ten qualifying matches for Euro 2012, but couldn't escape the group of death. Now, most observers would agree that Germany are a well-tuned bunch, but striker Lukas Podolski, or iPod Olski, get it? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, has taken things a little bit further. The Arsenal striker has released a rather cheesy pop song with a band from Cologne called Hallelujah. Who knows, it might be Euro 2012 this year, Eurovision next. Although, I doubt it. He's certainly not the first footballer to get behind a microphone. Anyone for diamond lights? No? Talking of diamonds, our Kev's a bit of a rough one, but we still love him. Here he is with his prediction for tonight's game. So the second semi-final then, and Kev the Chicken has got a choice here between Italy and Germany. He's veering towards the Italians and he's chosen Italy. So according to our psychic chicken, it's Italy in the final. Now, when you think of footballers and their image, you think big houses, fast cars and beautiful women. But these days, no top footballer seems complete without a tattoo. Here's our best and worst on display at Euro 2012. First, we've got the more common variety, the long sleeve tattoo. Modelled here by Portugal's Raul Moreles, Denmark's Daniel Agger and Roman Pavlachenko of Russia. All well and good, you might say, depending on your taste, of course. But feast your eyes on this little lot. First up, Wesley Schneider. Spot the European Cup on his torso. Next is Italy's Daniele De Rossi, and here's his Beware of Being Tackled tattoo. And finally, Denmark's Simone Chiar. He's got Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting, The Last Supper, tattooed on his arm. Nice. Now, I couldn't leave you without showing you this outtake. We've scoured the whole of Poland to bring you polls every day, and the moment we travel to the Ukraine, this is what happens. If you could say, hi, I'm Vitaly, and this is your poll. Okay. Hi, I'm Vitaly, I'm from Kyiv, and uh, I think uh, Spain win today. That's it for today. Leila will be back on Sunday ahead of the final. We'll see you then.